Konnichiwa, Mina and Sisukura, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PS4 game. And that is Ugly Dolls, an imperfect adventure. So, I have not seen this movie, and when I saw the game, it's like, oh, I want that. I'm going to get it, and I had got it for, a, I think it was like 15 or less. And I'm very excited to have it because... Some, like I, I've said before, sometimes movie games are the best things to pick up because they're going to be a lot of fun, or they're absolutely so bad they're fun. Or they're just so atrocious, like uh, Crow City of Angels will. I like having them in the collection, at least. So, real quick, this game is up to two players, takes two gigs to install, and I'm very curious to see how this one's going to play. Like I said, it's my first introduction to this uh, movie, and uh, it's going to be fun just to see what they did. And I might have to rent a movie just to see what it's like. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First time play game, a version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer started, and away we go. Play. New game, yes please. Moxie. Yes, I want Moxie. Hello! Welcome to Uglyville, a felt and fabric town that's home to Ugly Dolls. My name's Lucky Bat, and I'll be your narrator for this game. And this is my tea house. Not many people know that I have a secret high tech lair underneath my tea house. It's a cave, and I'm a, a bat. So, could the bat. E Terry. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh, that's good. They stopped saying it before they got sued. I love it. Now, there's a whole backstory which I just do a skip. It involves perfect dolls, sneaking villains, a giant baby, and lots of singing. All you need is ugly villain, it's a neighborhood town, perfection. Perfection is maintained by robots. Now why is it important? Because one day, the robot from the Perfection accidentally found its way into our Uglyville. And its robot brain created a problem for my, for me and my other dolls. You see, everything is slightly wonky. That's, that's what makes it fun. But the ro robots wanted the town to be precise and straight. So it called the Aurora robots to help. And suddenly, they were everywhere. It's up to you to help the ugly dolls to get the robots home. Your first job is to close the pipe the robots came through. To gameplay. Well, not bad. Oh no, there's a, there are robots everywhere. Lucky Bat will know what to do. I'll use a computer to contact him. Use the computer. Uh, Lucky Bat's not here right now, so leave a message after the beep. Um, beep. Hey, Lucky Bat, it's me. Oh, hi, sorry, I thought you were a robot. What are you doing in my cave? Looking for you, and hiding from the robots. Yeah, someone should really do something about them. We're heroes, we'll do it. We are. I mean, yes, we are. But what? Let's ask Trey. She's the smartest ugly doll I know. Great idea. Use a high-tech secret tunnel to reach Uglyville. I'll ask Trey to meet you there. What? You mean this pipe? Go to Uglyville. I love that they would go for 2D characters. Or they, they look like 2D characters in a 3D environment. That's actually pretty cool. Have you tried two players? It's twice as much fun and stressful. Okay, Trey is somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, sweet. We have hidden items. Oh, collectibles. <gasps> no, evil robot, run away. Nice. 
kind of reminds me of Tamagotchi, how even with everything, Tamagotchi kept um, the 2D feel and everything. Another one. I'm not even going to be end up playing again. I'm just going to be sitting there wasting my time collecting everything. Nice. There's buttons everywhere. Why must you do this to me? Why must we have collectibles? Okay. Okay, that's gonna get annoying. Having to dodge all the robots. Hmm. I wonder what the buttons do. Is it currency? Robot! Right away! Okay. <laughs> buttons, buttons, buttons. Must collect buttons. Okay. Obviously over here. Somewhere. Oh, okay. There you are. Trey. There are robots everywhere. Okay, I want to uh, also point out that there is no voice acting at this point in time. Which is a little sad because they did have some uh, voice acting when they started. So, a little sad, but oh well. All three of my brains have been looking for a solution. We need to prevent more robots from getting into Uglyville. Brain number two says we need a machine. Okay, what do I do? I need you to find all the things we need to build it. Before you go, let me show you something. As you explore, the places you visit will appear on the map. Take a look now. Okay, so we use the touchpad to open it up. Sweet. Okay. Nice and crap. Now I have to open up a map. If you ever get lost, use the map to find your way. Got it. So, what am I looking for? We need springs. Very useful when making machines. You'll cr find craft boxes around uh, Uglyville. Search them until you have enough springs. Springs on my way. Actually, I already have what I need right here. Here you go, Trey. All the springs you need. Excellent. Now, let me teach you to craft things. Crafting things. Yay. Okay, so I'm supposed to craft this. Got to hold it down. Well done. That's the first machine part, but we're going to need more. The parts went missing when robots started taking, t trying to tidy up my lab. It may be hard to find the parts, but I have an idea. Did you know you can craft a search balloon to find things? Go find the stuff needed to craft one and come back here and I'll show you what it's used for. New craft unlock. And I already can make it sweet. This is why, regardless, you find everything you need. Return to tray. Yay. Splendid. You can use the, this whenever you need to find something. Let me show you how. Okay, items. Ah, got you. It's going to clear up the map. Cool. There. Now you can locate other machine parts. 
You must find them laying around, or you may have to search the robots' storage chests. Also, brain number three has calculated the robots' love cake. I have science to do. Good luck finding those parts. Wait, what do you mean robots love cake? And he disappears. Oh, it's reusable. Hmm. Okay, well that's nice, a reusable search item that you only have to craft once. And I will make sure to open up all these if every time I can. Oh, they regenerate. Nice. And there goes the timer. Crap. I was actually having fun. Okay. Very well done. I'm very happy about that. And I see something fun right there. Okay, Dutch, English, Spanish, okay, Latin American, French, Italian, Polish, I guess, and Portuguese, Brazilian. Sweet. Okay, cool. That's actually pretty cool. Well done, guys. I think that's quite nice. The game itself has a, a really nice look to it, and it makes me really happy because, I, like I said before, Tamagotchi kind of does that, and I really love that look. You know, because it just really makes the game stand out with its visual effects. Uh, I love the fact that we get to collect things which are um, regenerate for, you know, we could always just get more things. So that's going to be very helpful, but at the same time tedious because you have to keep on collecting. Make sure you have plenty when you need to make the next item. I love the fact that they're definitely going towards the um, collecting, building uh, type quests, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm very curious now to see just how the game is going to go. Mind you, like I said, I have not seen the movie, so I don't know what the movie is all about, except for what the trailer I saw, and it's one I need to go see, so I might have to rent that today. <laughs> um, but really when it comes down to it it's the type of games I do enjoy it looks like the game isn't going to be too hard but one that will be fun because of what we have to do and I like that because it's always good to get games that are easy to play especially if you have a, a child that you're playing with that isn't good at games yet you can get a game like this and enjoy it with them and I like that so it's gonna be fun to really sit down and see what the story is gonna be in here because already I'm liking what they're doing and it's making me want to play the game that's pretty cool question for you guys are do you enjoy um, the 2d sprites or a 2d sprite look in a 3d environment for me i've always loved it you know because i played a ton of first person shooters on dos that copied doom and you know doom and duke nukem's camera and all that and how they did the game and honestly i should have also mentioned wolfenstein sorry it's just, it's so unique and it works nicely that I don't mind getting that type of camera and, um, I shouldn't say camera, that type of artwork and style in newer games. Because it works nicely and I love that they're going for this uh, look also of making it, making you know that this is a doll world. So everything will look fabric-y. 
and that really helps the game stand out with the theme it's trying to go for. Um, it's always interesting when I play a game that is based off of a different world and aesthetic look, and then we go to play the video game of it that is trying to be in that universe, and they have the technology to make it look similar or so, but they don't go out of their way whatsoever to make it look or act anything of that universe. It doesn't mean the game's going to be bad, but it is nice to see it, that that bit of detail. I mean, can you just imagine what a little big planet would have been like if they hadn't done it that way and they went for something different? So it's, it's kind of like that, to where it's always good. I mean, even like, um, you know, I just tried out... Super Mario 3D Land on when I was using the 2DS even though it's still relatively a side scroller you can still feel the uh, the old side scrolling Mario in it but with them adding in that depth of 3D adds to it and help inspire another gen and style of Mario to where it was what we're used to, but changing it enough to where it was good. Kind of like that. But still, always good to see that they take the time to make it look good. So, I think that makes sense. If it doesn't, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I, I love it when games really go out of their way to immerse you in it, including the menu and everything. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if there's any games you guys would like me to try that feature such things, let me know. And I'll try to get a hold of it and give it a try. Thank you guys for watching. This was so much fun. Uh, all honesty, out of all the games that I'm trying out today, this is the one that I actually was waiting to try. And I think it was just because I was so surprised that they made a game for this uh, for this movie. And so, yeah, I got it. Yay! So I, was, I really am excited. I was very curious to see what the game was going to have in general. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This is T-Secure saying ciao and sayonara.